Good evening, Booktube, YouTube. This is Johnny. This is a, uh, what is today? <laughs> it is a Saturday night and is going on 9.30 here in West Michigan. And I'm sitting in my main study. This is where I come to, this is where my desk is. And we're coming to the end of September. And this is my September 2007, 2019 diary. And I thought, as I always do when we come to the end of the month, I would get ready my October 2019 diary. I, already, I picked up already the calendar for 2020. I know I am, uh, I always feel kind of superstitious. I don't believe in superstition, but we have January 2020. And uh, so I like to get these ready because, I don't know, it's like I got this because I already wrote down that in April of 2020, I have a dentist appointment on the 15th. So I don't get that many appointments. But in October, it says here, Carol leaves the 1st, which is a Tuesday, and she comes back from Wisconsin on October the 6th. And then it says here in November, on November the 1st, there is a book sale at Freedom Village, which is a retirement place. And I have a doctor's appointment, my yearly physical, on November the 4th. Then Carol leaves to visit our daughter Beth and her family in Denver on the 13th and comes back from Denver on November the 20th. So yeah, by that time, I'm sure in November, it is snowing. It's already snowing in the mountains of Montana, my wife told me. So I'm sure we're gonna get an early snowfall here in Michigan. So what I do when I, I cut the edges off, so it'll fit in the folder. And so now it's cleaned edged. See the clean edge. And then I this this month of October I'll use yellow. I have a bunch of folders here. See I have a ton of them. See, when, when you have back-to-school sales, I buy folders and they get really cheap. And I buy paper. And then I buy pens. So I buy pens. I buy paper. I figured, you know, many years ago, when I lived in California, before I left, California back in 1978 I used to think well I can starve I can be homeless but if I have a pen and I got paper I can write it all down but I never thought well who's gonna read it <laughs> I mean you can write all this stuff down when you're homeless and you you have no food no shelter you're just wearing the clothes that you can have stored somebody's house and I said well, I can write all this down but then I never thought well who's going to read this I don't know so I'm going to use yellow for October and I get my my felt pen and then I write down October so October So today is a Saturday. I watched college football all day. I'm coming down with my wife's cold. So you see, then I have October. Make sure I have it right. Yeah. Sometimes I do it upside down because <laughs> I'm not paying attention. 
So yeah, I watched college football from noon until 9.30, well about 9 because I was watching the Nebraska and Ohio and Ohio was just total dominating Nebraska, so. Plus I don't really, I'm getting kind of bored. If you watch football all day, by this time you're kind of sick of it. So. So then I have the two folders. As I mentioned, the first folder is from October the 1st into the 15th. And then the second folder is from the 16th into the end of the month. And then I get the little thing and then I put it in here. I did read during today, well I read this morning before football, Participating in Christ, Explorations and Paul's Theology and Spirituality by Michael J. Gorman. And then I read today while uh, watching football, Stephen Spender's Journals 1939 to 1983. I'm on the year 1954 to 58 in the journal. He did a lot of traveling, uh, Stephen Spender. He traveled the world and he lectured on poetry everywhere. And uh, it's just amazing how much travel he did in 1954. I mean, I admire his bravery and flying in those planes back then. He flew across the, Atl the Atlantic and he went everywhere. I'm afraid even to drive around here in Holland where I live. Uh, so. That's why I don't go with my wife when she leaves in November to uh, visit our daughter and her family, Andy and the, our three grandchildren, uh, Louisa, Margaret, and Jack, because I'm afraid of flying. So there's the folders. I got the thing in there already. So yeah, we only have Tomorrow is the 29th of September. We have 93 days left in the year of 2019. Monday is the 30th, and then Tuesday is the 1st of October when my dear sweet wife leaves. Every year at this time, she goes off with her girlfriends, a couple of her girlfriends that she's known for longer than she's known me, and they they go somewhere and just hang out for a week. So yeah. So not much else went on today. Nothing came in the mail. I got books coming in the mail next week. CDs. I don't know. I told my wife when, the, when she's gone, I'm just going to shut the house down and just not go anywhere. I thought about fasting and praying and going to a deep state of contemplation, but I don't know. Well, Monday I have to go to the library used bookstore, the book nook. And Friday I have to go to the book nook from 10 to 1, so. Also, I'm supposed to get together with my friend Tim for coffee next week. We'll see. So tomorrow is the 29th. Tomorrow I'll be on page 781 for the year 2019. So yeah, I haven't been reading these books on my desk. Doing Theology with the Reformers by Gerald L. Bray. I haven't been reading Divine Christ, Paul, the Lord Jesus, and Scriptures of Israel by David B. Capps. And I haven't been reading Biblical Theology of the New Testament by Peter Schaumacher. I haven't been reading Kinship by Covenant, A Canonical Approach to the Fulfillment of God's Saving Promises by Scott W. Hahn. And I haven't got back into my Reformation commentary on Romans chapters 1 through 8. I don't know. I've just been kind of focusing in on that 
this book, Participating in Christ. So I've been reading that kind of slowly. I've, I've read 75 pages. It has how many pages of actual text? 262. Yeah, I'm, it's kind of like I told you, this is kind of like a summary of his other four books or five books I have up there in my bookcase. But I don't know, something to read and meditate in on in the morning, take notes. Uh, so yeah, I, so I am participating in Christ. I mean, it always kind of amazes me that here I'm sitting in this room, I'm here in this state of Michigan, but I'm united spiritually and mystically to Christ, the living God, and I am in union with Him. I'm in communion with Him. I'm participating in Christ's crucifixion, His resurrection. I am being transformed by that union, by that being united to Him. It just kind of amazes me because I just go through life very quietly. Not much goes on. It just amazes me that to know that I'm in Christ and Christ is in me. I'm dwelt by the Holy Spirit. I'm being made more like Christ. I am seated with Christ in heavenly places. I have died to sin. I am now alive in Christ. I put off the old man. I put on the new man. I've been raised with Christ. I'm experiencing the power of His resurrection. And yeah, and yet here I sit making this video to people I don't really know. <laughs> well, I don't know anybody. I mean, it's just kind of, you know, it's kind of mysterious. So I got my, uh, my diary ready for October next week. I'll, when end of the month, I put these in a plastic bin down the lower level. I've been doing this for 40 years. I have 40 years of diaries, 41 years of diaries. I, as I mentioned, I started writing when I was in high school. But when I left California in 1978, I burned all my diaries. So all I have is the diaries that from about 1978 until today. I don't know why I'm writing because, like, I, as I mentioned, nobody wants my diaries. <laughs> my kids don't want them. My wife doesn't want them. So as I've said in the past, I have instructed our son Josiah that when the old man kicks the bucket to uh, take these diaries, all my writings, and take them out to a cornfield out in the country, pour gasoline over them and set them on fire and play some Bob Dylan music, you know, I don't know, roast some hot dogs, <laughs> marshmallows, I don't know. Maybe it'll be a full moon when they burn my diaries and they can... Uh, I don't know, compose romantic poetry of, I don't know. Anyway, I'll stop my rambling. I hope you're having a good weekend. Thank you for the new subscribers and the comments. And until next time, goodbye.